Everyone has a different opinion on which crosshair is the best in CS2. In this video I will show the crosshair that I think is the best and can make your gaming experience better, but before we start I will give you some explanation on why crosshairs are important in Counter Strike 2. A well suited crosshair can significantly impact your gameplay by enhancing your precision, allowing you to aim better, control recoil and have a clear understanding of where your shots will land. Players often customize their crosshair to suit their preferences, adjusting its size, color, shape and style. These customizations can help in aiming more accurately, especially when factoring in different weapons, distances and personal aiming habits. Now let's move to the crosshair that I think is the best in CS2. To create our crosshair, we need to go to the settings, then go to game and you will see the crosshair menu. As you can see we have a lot of options to work with, to make the best crosshair for you. Make sure the crosshair style is classic static, the friendly fire reticle warning, make sure it's always off. The next setting is follow recall and at the end of this video I will explain what this setting does and why it might help you, for now we'll leave it on off. Center dot off. For me the best length is around 2, so it's not that big, so let's leave it at 1.9. For a thickness, let's go for 1.1 and the gap for minus 2.4. The best outline for me is 0.9 and now just copy these settings for the color of the crosshair. Then on this style, choose the option no, deployed weapon gap, again no and show players crosshairs is personal preference. Now this is how the crosshair looks in game and now I'm going to explain to you why you might want to enable the follow recoil setting. If you are a new player and you want to learn the recoil pattern of the guns, this setting is a great way to do it. You'll see when your recoil is bad and you can fix it. The follow recoil crosshair option is new to CS2. With this option enabled, your crosshair will move with the recoil as you should, allowing you to see exactly how the recoil will affect your aim. You can try it out in that much to see if it works good for you. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and see you in the next video.